Yeah. It, it was really good. Uh, Deborah Williams, who's the RBP under uh, Scott Pinker, he takes all the women and he teaches she teaches them how to shoot. Okay. So if you have and she, and she can put three like that. Oh wow. So she takes them over, teaches them safety, teaches them everything. She's gonna do a safety brief brief for everybody. Okay. And then uh, and then I have my barn open, and then I'll have a grill going. We'll, we'll cook. Everybody's gonna have lunch. Okay. And then everybody goes out and shoots. Uh, and you shoot, you can shoot AR-15, you can shoot shotguns, you shoot whatever you want to shoot. Oh, wow. If you hit Target, you get a frozen turkey for Thanksgiving. And the one I tell all the women to get is a 20-gauge pump shotgun. And you have to be a very good shot. You're having to shoot somebody, you got adrenaline going through your body, you're likely to miss the shotgun you're not going to miss. Are you shooting there? Don't kill them, but just make no, sure you put them down and mm -hmm. wait, watch a good time. Mm -hmm. kill you will kill them. Kill them. Got a bit of coming to my house about being invited. Plus, you're less likely to get sued. If you if you injure somebody, and you're they didn't bring it in. Yeah, you, there's no risk that ever happens. Because floating rate is doing well still. You know, if floating rate once the interest rate starts coming down, I know. we'd like to move that. I said, oh, I won't do it well. Will it? Interest sales start coming out. I said, when it wants it start coming out. Oh, well, just give you the voting rate. Oh out. yeah. I mean, even when it starts going down, it's going to be higher. Even when it, that, and they're not they're not likely to rate lower rates until about this time next year. So, and they're going to probably do one more rate hike in December. So I think we'll be and so you're going to be hard pressed to find anything to pays better than nine percent for a while. But once it does, once the interest rates do stabilize, then we can go back into bonds. Right. The flow rates made a 10.86 percent return in the last 12 months. Well, the rate you got me to sign in, I never signed in before. So that one, let's see what's what's going on with uh, ACSTA. So that one was doing pretty well. It's down 2.2 for the year. Oh, it's been, uh, it was up. It was up for the last three months, and now it's down. The B and DAX is now like four percent. Yeah. So let's look at the DAX. Yeah, 4.34. It's down 12.6 percent last three months. Let's see what um, VAFAX. About 20 something for the year. Up. Oh. Yeah. Because you have technology that 18.74. It's funny, text did good yesterday. Everything else did. I don't know why it did. So then we got, let's see, OEGAX. Let's see what this stuff is. That's Mitch Eckroth. Down 4.85. Oh, EGAX. And so it's, it's down. And then VSCAX. Let's see where that is. Small cap value. It's, it's up 1.84 for the year. Everything's got hammered in the last three months because it was up over 10% up until recently. So what? It's VSC. VS, Victor Sierra. Charlie Alpha X-ray. So what else? Let's see what else we do. Let's this ACTHX, which is the high yield community fund. Let's see where that is. I know it's been getting killed because of rate rate hikes. What is AC? ACTHX. It's down five point nine eight nine seven for the year. So you would that's for someone that want to, but I could take class. Right, but I'm taking all my clients out of this. And put them in the floating rate for right now. See what you've been at all. Until until the rates stabilize. So why is it mid cap that S M E A X? Which one? Why is it uh, this small cap value S M E A X? I don't know. That. That's S M E A X. E A oh C X. Yeah yeah yeah. It's down one point five six. It was up. until we it went down twelve eleven point nine nine percent the last three months. A M L S X. And, uh, it's it's a far better than the B F A X. Uh, I've never been a fan of the summit. summit. That well, it used to be a contractual fund. That's why I never used it, and it always seems to underperform. But maybe it's not. It's up fifteen percent for the year. Doing good. Have you tried V V O A D X? V V O A D X. Yeah, I like that one. That's the mid cap. It's in the value opportunity fund. It's down 2%. Hey, 
had some clients that I inherited in the uh, Clearwater at Franklin Templeton, and their floating rate fund is way better than AFR yet. Is it? It's weird. Fidelity's is way, or, way worse. Yeah. Oh, uh, the uh, what's what's the ticker symbol? Like it's F K R E X, which is is the it's the it's the, it's the Franklin Franklin floating rate. F A F R E X. That's right. I've used it for when I had when I had clients. So that's a eleven point five one. Yeah. Doing really well. So I'm doing the same thing with those, those clients that Franklin Timothy, like he would do it if AFR is. So it's the same floating rate fund worth the same, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's the yield on it? You know, not, I think it's about 940, something like that. Wow. Here, where do you use those, like A, 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 L, L, A, X, those income funds? Where do you use those? All of them. Well, well they're loaded with bonds, so I would use them all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anytime, every, anytime you see the word income on the note of a fund, it's a bond. It's dividend. It's going to be dividends and uh, bonds. And then there's another O R O R S T X that I need to look at. That's the Invesco Short Term Municipal Bond. It's kind of like a step above a money market. Wow. It's eight point eight nine for the year, but it has a year. I, so if you had a new client other than AFRX, what phone would you use? Well, I mean, huh? VAFAX, would you use that technology for it? VAFAX. Going to the fourth quarter? Depends. Maybe. Uh, maybe now it would be good, yeah, because yeah. a lot of stocks have just been beaten up so bad that they're fixing to go to the other direction. Okay. I-E-N-A-X, let's see what that is. Energy. That's up point nine for the year. Gold is not good right now. Yeah, what's, what's the ticker? Oh, BGSA. It's down 3.73. It's up, it was up 2% yesterday. So, so that's the best place to be is in floating rate. Right? Yeah. That's where I'm putting everybody right now. I told uh, Kip Ridley, but he had a bad stock. I said, this this stock certificate is suitable for framing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he took me out of my word because the next time I walked in there, that stock certificate was in a frame hanging in his office. You want to have a, um, you have want to have a will. Yeah, okay. So sure. then a will would step away for that money. I got. Okay. And I'll tell you what, if you got clients that have any money in Schwab, no one's happy with their money in Schwab. Wow. So that you can get it all. Oh yeah. What's going on Schwab? Well, first of all, like in her case, she only had like less than three hundred thousand at Schwab. They're in a like a computerized portfolio, man. They don't even get a person to use their portfolio. It's a computer thing. And you call, you don't get it. You don't have a person on your account or anything. So she wasn't happy with that. Plus, it's the legend money hand over fist. So it's rude. And most people don't like it. And, and a lot of people know that I have, I've been told that Schwab has ties with China. So no one wants to be part of it. Oh, wow. Schwab well, because of that, even. So, it's not hard to get money from Schwab right now. Police officer, firefighters, the there's a rule to where if you, if the, an older, you don't get 10% penalty. You have to pay the taxes, but they, they exempt. Well, you can try it for your pension, but yeah, this, right. I don't think it's your 401k, is it? No, that's right. If you roll your, they got 457. If you roll it 457 to RA, you can't. Right. But if you um, keep it there, you can. Yeah. And she said, hell, it don't really matter. I said, well, okay, I need to know that because you rolled it over. Now you're trying to do a systematic draw. I kind of mess that up. Well, what you can do, though, is you you leave, if it's if it's like a four, uh, four for seven, you leave what's going to carry them through right. 59 and a half. Okay. Yeah. And then and she said, you know, my husband, he's 66 to two. So we just, well, never mind. We're the strongest money. I run out. I could, you know, what if you just want to draw your and I, you know, didn't know that. You know, you want to leave some here, right? You know, where you can draw the amount. So you're, you're, you're always learning, but it's like, I didn't even know that. Right. I turned 50 nothing half this month. Oh, you get your money out here. I can You can barely make it. Ahead. I know. <laughs> I barely make it. <laughs> but, you know, I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm getting screwed like crazy. You know that? Because, you know, I, every year I put, huge amount of money in my set so I could take the tax deduction, right? And I'm thinking, 
if I keep making the money I'm making, when I turn, when I go to retire, they're going to just tax crap out of my, my, uh, my monthly withdrawals on my, my IRA. And then I'm going to get taxed on Social Security by crazy. Oh, wow. I was talking to uh, Mike Crawford, and he was telling me how badly he's getting taxed. I guess what I'll do, I, don't, I guess I'd wait till, uh, I don't know if I'll ever get taxed on retirement money. Yeah, I could do it that way. But then, but the company still, still has to pay taxes. Yeah. And that's, I do that now. That's actually what I do now. Yeah. So because um, I, did, I incorporated a couple years ago, and it did save me about $13,000 a year in taxes. Well, <laughs> the, 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 let me, the good news with financial services business is you don't have any no expenses. Over yeah. No overhead. Yeah. If it wasn't for me buying this building, I'd have nothing. Yeah. Uh, so, whereas if you own a, you know, tire shop, right? You got inventory, you got whatever, you have to pile the write offs. But in our business, you don't. Right. Well, you like, well, Teresa's right. been trying to get me to get a new car. Yeah, at least a new car. The same was showing the pump, but you can't show a loss. For about five years, is that true? So you can't just keep showing a loss in the business. You, you yeah, you have to show out of the, you have to show two of the five years that shows up the money. That's what I do in my farm. I have to show some kind of cash flow. Okay. I to make money. I can have to show cash flow. Okay. So that's why I sell my. I'll sell some goats, or I'll, I'll have to sell. I'll sell some my timber on my property. But it, and I'll tell you where where we have. I think we have a possible really bad news coming. Right now, we're helping Ukraine and we're helping Israel fight their wars, right? And we're going to get probably more and more involved in Israel. Well, I think it's because that's happening, I think it gives us a really high percentage chance that Xi Jinping attacks Taiwan. Hmm. If that happens, then we're going to have a, because. It was, we're pre preoccupied with Israel and Ukraine. That's going to give him the opportunity to attack Taiwan. And if that happens, we're going to have a, it's going to be a big issue. Well, it's going to make Mark fall like a rock. So I sat down with a client last week at the web. He was saying that it's, it is credit being that he get a 5.49. Yeah. 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 I said, there's no way. He wouldn't have got the paper. Oh, yeah, they did. And, and it's, and I'm going like, okay. Did I, did I showed him the floating rate. And, uh, yeah, they were talking to him. He was an older gentleman. He's 83. And uh, we got from a referral. He said, let me talk to him, the son. I said, have the son call me. I better not have his son here. Right. And I talked with him because right. he, probably, he probably have questions you can't answer. He said, okay. He said, well, give me, I'm going to give you $50,000. And he said, he's got any cash. And he retired from the I'll try to get him to get you. I am. Trying to get you 200 million. Right. I'm going to go. To 62, I I keep bad clients, and then 62, I'll uh, I won't have any more clients. See, if I was going to buy another car, I'd probably buy another Lexus. I I had a Lexus a long time ago. I always thought that was my favorite car I've ever had. Yeah, I never told you I ended up with my car there. Huh? You know, I never told you I ended up with that Genesis. I retired. Uh, I was talking to Shaw. I said, Shaw, you know what I'm thinking about me? The Mercedes it is a BMW. Or, I don't know, Lexus, I'm just, I can't afford what you are probably going to do. He's like, okay. He said, man, have you seen those those Genesis, though? I said, no. He said, man, I'm thinking, all right, we probably get. Well, you know how I know about them? Huh? Stacy's parents bought one. But it had to be before yours, yeah. So that's how I knew how nice they were. Oh, I'm thinking, nah, it's nice. I was, it's got every bell and every whistle. Yes, sir. He said, go down to make it. So I'm riding one in, in my daughter's car, with her car now, that Camry. And so I go, go to make it. I said, I'm going to this chance. So, okay, well, let's put it on the showroom floor, man. I went there and said, oh my goodness. <laughs> and, uh, now, first I said, who made Genesis? He said, Hyundai. I said, I don't know Hyundai. He said, go look at him. Say, let's go look at him. I went online and, and looked at him and camped him. I said, oh, Sam, that's pretty. Man. He my daughter.